God told me to tell you if you got a hard way to go walk it by faith if you got a grudge against somebody drop it tonight hatred or resentment shake it off if you got a high mountain climb it by prayer or remove it by faith if you got a battle fight the good fight of faith if you got a devil drive him out if you got a challenge God said face it if you got a cross you ought to bear it if they knock you against the ropes come out swinging if they knock you down get back up if they laugh at you keep on smiling if they talking about you keep on praying if they hate you keep on loving them if they kill you rise rise again rise again rise again say yeah say yeah 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 who is the fourth man in Genesis he's the seed of the woman in Exodus he's the Passover lamb in Leviticus he's the high priest in Numbers he's the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night in Deuteronomy he's the prophet like Moses in Joshua he's the captain of my salvation in Judges He's the judge and the lawgiver and Nehemiah. He's the rebuilder of the broken down walls in human life. In Esther, he's my Mordecai. In Job, he's my everlasting redeemer. Who is the fourth man? In Psalms, he's my shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he's my wisdom. In the song of Proverbs, in the songs of Solomon, he's my lover and my bridegroom. Isaiah, he's the prince of peace. In Jeremiah, he's the righteous branch. In Lamentations, he's the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, that's why I have 24 spinners on my G-Wagon. Because Ezekiel saw him as a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Y'all ain't saying nothing in Daniel. In Daniel, he's the fourth man in life's fire furnace. Who is this fourth man that you cannot see with your natural eyes? In Hosea, he's a faithful husband. In Joel, he's the baptizer of the Holy Ghost. And that would fire. In Amos, he's my burden bearer. In Obadiah, he's mighty to save. In Jonah, he's the great foreign missionary. In Micah, he's the messenger with beautiful feet. In Nahum, he's the avenger of God's elect. In Habakkuk, he's God's evangelist. In Zephaniah, he's my savior. In Haggai, he's a restorer of God lost heritage. In Zechariah, he's the fountain in the house of David for sin and uncleanness. In Malachi, he's the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. Who is the fourth man in Matthew? He's the Messiah. In Mark, he's a wonder worker. In Luke, he's the Son of Man. In John, he's the Son of God. In Acts, he's the Holy Ghost. In Romans, he's my justifier. In First and Second Corinthians, he's my sanctifier. In Galatians, he's the Redeemer from the curse of the law. In Ephesians, he's the Christ of uncertainty riches in Philippians he's the God that will supply all your needs in Colossians he's the fullness of the Godhead in bodily form who is the fourth man in first and second Thessalonians he's the soon coming king 
in first and second Timothy he's the mediator between God and man in Titus he's a faithful pastor in Philippians he's the beloved brother who is this fourth man in Hebrews he's the blood of the everlasting covenant in James Bishop Patterson he's the great physician did you hear what I said in first and second Peter he's my chief shepherd in first second and third John he is love in Jude he's the Lord Jesus coming with 10,000 of his saints who is this fourth man